What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the RPG tutorial series and in this episode we will set up the attack orientation, so we can basically turn our character to the direction that we are looking when attacking. It's going to be a very easy view to follow, so let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing we need to do is, you know, basically change the character's orientation to where we're looking. Now, right now, if I press play, go and equip my sword, you know, in the melee slot and attack, looking backwards, as you can see, my character still goes, you know, forwards and it will be very hard to attack honestly so we just need to go ahead and turn the camera right uh well not the camera but the whole character towards the camera orientation so we're going to be doing this on the blueprints folder and bbc attack system so as you may remember this is our attack component with all of our combat system which is in here so basically as you can see when we trigger the attack input right when we you know press the left mouse button we check if we can attack and we do the sword attack right after this what we can do is indeed turn the character so there are many ways to do this the first one uh, that we're going to be doing is just to get the character blueprint variable that we you know are saving at the beginning play right which is accessing the owner of this component because remember this is an actor component not the third person blueprint itself and then we're just gonna go ahead and just set the actor rotation and now we will you know update the rotation now what would the new rotation be well as you may remember from previous episodes especially with the target lock there's a difference between the actor rotation and the control rotation in this case when we turn our camera we are actually turning the um, control rotation right now our control rotation is you know facing backward so what we can do is just access the get control rotation and plug that in and that's how we could do it if i now just compile go and press play you can see that if i go and equip my sword and then go and you know face backwards and attack boom we go backwards but it doesn't look very good uh, because it's just the instant for example if i attack a lot you can see it's just the character's like teleporting right because of course it is snapping and we don't want that what we want is an interpolation so we're gonna do that but also another thing is that right now if we attack looking up because we are passing the whole control rotation the, the control rotation will be slightly upwards and you know our character will be uh, looking upwards which is not what we want so we only want to change one axis which will basically be the um, the z axis okay so only on you know looking left and right so what we can do is go here break this split it in both um you know nodes and then just plug in the z over here and then for the x and y we can just access the current um actor location sorry rotation okay so not the control but the actor split it and then just leave everything as default okay so the actor location will be with the same actor location for rotation sorry for x and y but for z it will be the one from control rotation all right so now that we have that we're gonna make the interpolation now the thing is that because it is an actor component we cannot add a timeline that we have done many times you know in this series so we need to use a different node which is going to be the r interp to rotation node so to do this what we need to do is just go ahead and just you know disconnect this get this uh notes right now go a bit up and we will need to add the event tick because this interp to node will require a delta time and will require a constant update in each frame so what we need to do is basically just connect this over here and then we are going to be going ahead and using this reinterp to node instead of directly passing the new rotation here so how are we going to do this well let's go ahead and just leave the control rotation unplugged and let's right click and recombine it okay so it'll be a bit simpler then i am going to go ahead and just right click write r interp two and you can see this one which will return a rotator this is the one that we want so this right click split and now just drag in the z as you may remember 
we only want the set. So instead of doing it from here, we can do it from the output, which will kind of make things more organized. So the target rotation that we're aiming for is going to be the one from our control rotation. But the one right now from our current is going to be the uh, actor rotation, right? So also to keep things more organized, let me unplug this too, right click, recombine it, plug it into the current, okay, so right now, this is our current, um, you know, rotation, and we want to go to this one. But then to plug this to here, we can just add a break rotator node, and we can also have this pin over here, right? So we're gonna go ahead and just plug X and Y, and there we go. So now, things will work as it needs. Now, of course, we need another two inputs in the R interrupt to node. We need the delta time, which can be accessed on here in the vent tick, and then the speed. I have found that 10 is pretty nice, okay? It's like pretty quick, but smooth. So let's, you know, plug in 10, but of course you can play around with values to get what you want. And now if I press play, you can see that, there we go, it is working, okay? Of course, I'm not attacking because we have, you know, we're not attacking, but I have this in the vent tick. So it will be in every frame. So now we just need to make sure that it will only happen if, you know, we are uh, attacking. So for this, what I'm going to do is create a new branch over here and we're gonna create a new boolean, right? So let's go ahead and use right click, promote variable, and this will be something as, you know, orient attack, okay? And then we're gonna make sure that this is uh, by default false, okay? So make sure to untick this, very, very important. I don't know why it is unticked before, so untick it. And now when we attack, right after the sword attack, we're gonna go ahead and just set the orient attack to be true and after a slight delay of around you know 0.3 seconds maybe we are going to go ahead and set orient attack to be false and now it will only happen for 0.3 seconds when we attack as you can see nothing is wrong with the character again gonna emphasize this make sure that orient attack by default is unchecked and we're gonna go get the sword equip it you can see still I'm not orient, you know, oriented or anything like that. But now if I attack, boom, there we go. And now it looks very cool because we have a nice interpolation and we are not going ahead and, you know, breaking the character um, by snapping. So it looks way nicer. So that's it, guys. If you found this tutorial helpful, I would really appreciate it. You could like the video and subscribe to my channel. Remember, they have full access to the project files through Patreon or YouTube members. Join my Discord server to talk with me and to other devs. Check out my new course with the game they have to be in how to make a stealth game in Unreal. Follow me on my socials. And now, yes, with all I said, bye bye.